Okay. Well, I think. Okay, it's okay now. Well, let's tell the first question. Many companies spend a lot of money on corporate entertaining. Do you think the money is well spent? Why or why not? <clears throat> For example, let me give you an example. Uh, uh, something, a company that uh, produces something like cosmetic product uh, have uh, actually launched a product, a new product that actually that the main ingredients is mod. So it's something like a new product consists of mod. The main ingredient is mod. So they decided to hold a, something like a festival, a mod festival to advertise and of course to sell their new product. How they hold actually a um, mod festival consists of different sections, something like mod pools, mod slides or everything, okay, to uh, have some, so that people can have fun and can entertain in order to advertise the product. So what do you think? Do you think actually this is a good way to advertise, to introduce something or no, you think it's something like wasting money? Mm. I think um, if we do, if we run business, we need to, uh, we need to invest or for some activities like uh, advertise, advertising product or brand name uh, company, I mean company brand name and uh, uh, I think is uh, is a um, is a good way to uh, <clears throat> to uh, corporate inter corporate. Uh, I, I I think we need spend a lot of uh, uh, um, spend money for for that thing. Yeah, um, and. Yes. Uh, OK, so of course we have some traditional ways and some modern ways to advertise to actually introduce a product. So do you think we, it's better to invest on actually traditional ways or modern ways in order to advertise and sell new products? Uh, for new product. Mm. Of course. I think is uh, uh, sometimes it depends on how uh, uh, depend on uh, where is company uh, where is our company stand uh, like um, uh, I mean if uh, if our company is uh, a famous company and has uh, and we have um, good uh, brand and we have um, a lot of customers and they uh, just uh, they just uh, us and they believe the, um, the product uh, how to say I mean uh, sometime if we we are um, uh, famous company we have uh, a lot of loyalty customers and really? yeah uh, so I think um, for new product is depend on uh, uh, its brand name and uh, even uh, of course uh, of course uh, we still need to spend time for uh, spend money for advertise uh, new product. I think so. Yeah. Uh, traditional way is good. We, I mean, it's um, it's a 
is the is easy to to do on nothing much to think and um, uh, no need to creative uh, think but uh, uh, nowadays I think we need more um, more than that like we, we need the modern ways like um, uh, advertise uh, on uh, media, on social network. Um, mm, yeah, I mean, it's modern way. Yeah, of course. Uh, we, we combine. Yeah, combine so you think the combination, way. yeah, of course, of the modern yeah. and traditional way can yeah. be actually more fruitful. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. Now, it's yeah. time to listen to the interview and then complete the first part. So as you can see, you need to complete the words according to the listening. So let me play the audio and then we can do this part together. Just give me a moment to play the audio. Well, Okay. Just let me check. B. D. Recording seven point four. Now this is uh, six point one. So I think shipping city conversation three conversation conversation two Ouch. conversation five why <laughs> recording six point four so four three two one I think this one Unit 6. Okay. Entertaining. Recording 6.1. What range of services does Novotel London West offer for corporate entertainment? We offer a, a wide range of, uh, of possibilities for corporate entertaining here at Novotel London West. We have a large conference room which uh, in fact can hold up to 3000 reception style. That room can be subdivided into smaller conference rooms. And we can do anything from a trade show, exhibition, workshops, um, seminars, conference, AGM, uh, anything um, can be done here at the Novotel on the West in terms of corporate entertaining. But the, um, the most important thing is to work with um, with, with the objective of our clients. They have a message they want to communicate and that's the most important thing I would say to, to make sure that as the venue, we provide the right venue, the most suitable venue for the clients um, for them to achieve their aim and their objectives. Well, <clears throat> so uh, he mentioned some actually words and you know hmm, I don't know if you need to listen again to complete or no you could find and you could hear um, yeah um, I need to listen again but I uh, I heard about A B they uh, uh, he uh, mentioned uh, about exhibition as Exhibition, of he course, and, and the workshops. Workshops, very good. Yeah. And uh, after that, I'm not uh, yeah. really focused but, on. So let me say yes. something. Why didn't you find enough time to write all answers? Because you tried to write the words completely. So exhibition completely, but you don't need to do this. Of course, during the listening, when the listening is playing, you don't have enough time 
to yeah. actually listen and write the whole answer. So we say that it's better to write some codes. For example, mm. you want to say exhibition, E-X-H. So when you see this, yeah, it was exhibition. So let me complete it. Workshop, maybe W-O-R. Okay, so wow, this, this was workshop, I remember. And after that, for example, yeah, seminars, Okay, S E M. So this is it. So you need to write a part of word. After that, you have time to complete it because you heard the word. You, yeah. And when you have your code, you won't forget. So let me play again and try this method. I think it can work. Unit six Entertaining. Recording 6.1. What range of services does Novotel London West offer for corporate entertaining? We offer a, a wide range of, uh, of possibilities for corporate entertaining here at Novotel London West. We have a large conference room, which uh, in fact can hold up to 3000 reception style. That room can be subdivided into smaller conference rooms. And we can do anything from a trade show, exhibition, workshops, um, seminars, conference, AGM, uh, anything um, can be done here at the Novotel on the West in terms of corporate entertaining. But the um, the most important thing is to work with, um, with with the objective of our client. They have a message they want to communicate, and that's the most important thing I would say to to make sure that as the venue, we provide the right venue, the most suitable venue for the client. Um, for them to achieve their aim and their objectives. Okay. Well, number three. Mm, seminar. Seminars. seminars. So, seminars. Conferences. Very good. ICM. Okay, AGM, of course, very good. And then the second part, you need to fill in the blank. So, the most suitable venue for the. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot your advice. I mean, I trying <laughs> to write out the <laughs> the work. And after that, of course, of course, I I I mean because uh, as a focus for was part one. I don't think they have yeah. another part for um, need to yeah. complete. Of complete. course, it's okay. So now we did the first part. Let's focus focus on the second part and try to complete it. So let's Unit go. six, entertaining. Recording six point one. <coughs> what range of services does? Novotel London West offer for corporate entertaining? We offer a, a wide range of, uh, of possibilities for corporate entertaining here at Novotel London West. We have a large conference room, which uh, in fact can hold up to 3000 reception style. That room can be subdivided into smaller conference rooms. We can do anything from a trade show, exhibition, workshops, um, seminars, conference, AGM, uh, anything um, can be done here at the Novotel on the West in terms of corporate entertaining. But the um, the most important thing is to work with, um, with, with the objective of our client. They have a message they want to communicate, and that's the most important thing I would say, to, to make sure that as the venue, we provide the right venue, the most suitable venue for the client, um, for them to achieve their aim and their objectives. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, now I, <clears throat> uh, the most suitable venue for the client. Very good. Client for them to uh, to achieve. Excellent. And the M 
and the objective very good objective so as you can see you know this is the way that i write the answer look at the word you know for the client just i wrote c l i so i know that this word should be client after listening i can complete it or for them to achieve a c h so i know to uh, how to complete it and after that their objective obj so after listening i have time to complete it very good okay now let's listen to the second part isabel mccord is assistant to the general manager and listen to the first part of the interview decide whether these statements are true or false well so the second one recording 6.2 can you tell us about the five senses experience? So the five senses experience is a new facility housed within the Novotel London West, which appeals specifically to the corporate meeting and incentive market. Whilst food is a subject, there is much more to it than just flavor and eating. As suggested by the name, the focus is on each individual's five senses using a series of exercises that confuse, stimulate, test, and hone <clears throat> each of the senses. So designed to accommodate groups from five to nine people, it gives people a chance to experience how they use their senses in their daily life. And it's sometimes amazing when they realize the impact uh, their senses have on each of them. This experience is both a lot of fun and extremely informative. <coughs> the accent was awful, so yeah. <laughs> you're right if you couldn't I, get uh, answers. <laughs> yeah, I think you see <laughs> not a uh, not American accent. Of course, of course. Uh, she didn't have, but you know, so of course, if you listen uh, one more time, I think you can find the answers. Just keep going, just to you know, maybe it's good to listen yeah. one more time. Recording 6.2. Can you tell us about the five senses experience? So the five senses experience is a new facility housed within the Novotel London West which appeals specifically to the corporate meeting and incentive market. Whilst food is a subject, there is much more to it than just flavor and eating. As suggested by the name, the focus is on each individual's five senses using a series of exercises that confuse, stimulate, test and hone <clears throat> each of the senses. So designed to accommodate groups from five to nine people, it gives people a chance to experience how they use their senses in their daily life. And it's sometimes amazing when they realize the impact uh, their senses have on each of them. This experience is both a lot of fun and extremely informative. Mm -hmm. I think, see, come from France. France. <laughs> France, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe Germany, or See, maybe friend. France. Yeah, of course you think. So let me check. No, we don't have something about her origin, but yeah, <laughs> is well. Yeah, I think um. so. Uh, yeah, I... I has many missing, but I uh, I can answer the question. I think for the first uh, the first statement um, is false. Of course, false. Yeah, it wasn't about testing food. Yeah, of course, tasting yeah. food. No, and just in five continents. And number uh. two. Number two is four. Yeah, false, of course. 
I just uh, heard about group of uh, between five to nine. Yup, and number People. three. Number three is two. Yeah, of course. Very good. Good answer. So, the respective awful accent, you could find the answers. That was really good. That's really good progress. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With two time listen her. Oh, but it's okay. It's voice. normal. Yeah, we normally play the audios and audio tracks about two or three times in yeah. class. So it's normal. Don't worry. Okay, mm. now we're gonna listen to the second part and cross out the words which are not spoken. So first of all, let's read the text. So mm. we need to underline the important words that we think we may hear during the listening. OK. <clears throat> OK. Wow. OK. Now let's listen and try to find the words that are not spoken. Recording 6.3. Our clients use the five senses for many different purposes, from client entertainment to team building. Because the great thing about the five senses is that it gets people talking, it breaks down barriers, and it gives people a memorable shared experience. It can help them to communicate with and work with colleagues, clients, and customers in ways that, that are much more effective. Well, Yeah. Um I has uh see uh uh see no spoke see no spoke she didn't mention she didn't mention about um uh, freely uh, freely, she didn't say, of course, freely, cultural. Okay, uh, let's let's start from the beginning. So, uh, the great thing about the five cents. Okay, so census program. Did you hear this word program? No. Well, so let's remove it. Is that it's yes, most people or people? Uh, there's most I people. I heard people. Yeah, I heard people. I didn't hear most people. I heard oh. people. And freely, of course, as you said, freely, she didn't say. It breaks down cultural berries, of course, bar cultural, no, just berries, like yeah. roots and. Uh, it's okay, people, uh, um, not, uh, she didn't say successfully. Of course, successfully, of course, and and uh, not uh, colleagues. Yeah, not you know, no, this, new, yeah. new colleagues. New, of course, she didn't say new colleagues, just said sh colleagues with colleagues, not new colleagues. Very yeah. good. And client and customers in a way that are much more effective. Very good. Well, now. Put the following uh, into a logical order for entertaining in a row. Okay, so we've finished the listening section. Now let's get started with vocabulary section to learn some words and phrases related to entertaining. Okay, uh, so let's put, uh, so look at the menu, ask for bills, book a table, leave a tip, have the main course, have a dessert or the starter, have an Okay, operative. So tell me. Let's put them in the correct order. Mm. 
into a logical order. Uh, wow. You mean uh, uh, step by step? Well, right? okay, yeah, of course. So mm. step by step means which one? So first of all, we need to book a table. We need to yeah, make a yeah. reservation. I see the, I mean, the number one here. Mm. Okay, so after that. After that, uh, we, uh, uh, we look at the menu. Very good. So second, we'll look at the menu after that. Uh, after that, we have order a uh, stator. Oh, no. So let me say, because you don't know the meaning of this word, look at the, this option, have an operative. OK, so uh, it's something like this is a drink. This is an alcoholic drink that people drink before a meal. So mm -hmm. it's something like, of course, so we normally drink this kind of drink. So this is an alcoholic drink that we drink before the meal. So normally before we actually, uh, I don't know, have our appetizer or something like it or starter. So this can be the third one, number three. Yeah. yeah. OK. Number four, I think, not number three. Number three, uh, no. Before starter, we drink this. So uh, number one, two, and three have an operative. And yeah. after that, number four. Number four, we order starter. Very good. Order starter. And after that, then. Uh, and after that, have a main course. Right. Very good. Then. Uh, uh, and uh, reserve, dessert. Mm. Dessert, of course. Dessert. And leave us for the bill. Okay, of course. Ask for a bill. And, and the last one is leave a tip. Very good. Excellent. That's it. Okay, well, now. Put it word in the box next to the appropriate group of adjectives to make word. Yeah, so this is about something like collocations, as I told you. Uh, when we say word partnership, it means a good combination of words that you normally expect to see them together. Mm. So, for example, we say tasty, oh, tasty food. We normally expect to hear these two words together. So this can be a logical partnership or this can be a collocation. Now, let's, for example, stylish, of course, stylish restaurants or. Popular and exclusive. Mm. To, to fast food. Yeah, uh, fast. Do we have food? Ah, yeah, it can mean, be, uh, but you know, friendly. So friendly, efficient. So we need to make a logical combination with these three words. So fast food oh, is a with, with food three note. words. Okay, yeah. with three words. So uh, um, I think is um, uh, service. Okay, of course, friendly service, fast service, of course. Cozy, friendly, welcoming. <coughs> welcoming. Uh, atmosphere, I think so. Yeah, atmosphere, of course. Uh, and. Uh, uh, tasty, local, regional, uh, exotic food. Uh, regional, local, exotic, tasty food, of course. Mm, to be in convenient. Uh, location. Very good. And the last one. Uh, the last one is uh, price. 
Very good. Okay. As I can see, you know, an exclusive restaurant. Okay, do you have any idea about the meaning of this collocation? Exclusive restaurant. Oh, you mean as is? Yeah, it's something like, you know, it's something special for a group of people. Exclusive restaurants, it's limited to only a group of people. Maybe it's something special, so exclusive a restaurant. So. Mm. And another one that's, uh, let me say, exotic. Exotic. We let, you know, it's something like a bit strange, maybe unusual. You know, for example, we have some uh, meals, cuisines from different countries that are a bit unusual, you know, culture, so say exotic. It's something unusual. It's something maybe strange a bit. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, that. Yeah, of course, exotic. For example, uh, China. I don't know, the US, the UK, every country can have a special food that can be a bit strange or unusual for all the people from all the countries, and we call them exotic, exotic mm. food or meals. Okay, okay well, now, uh, you plan to take a foreign visitor out to dinner, so, okay, so you're going to plan to take me for dinner, dear, mm. so... Mm. <laughs> Let's rank this factor. So actually, I will be your guest. So rank these factors in order of importance when choosing a restaurant. OK, so tell me which one mm. is important when you want to take mm. me out to dinner. Uh, I think the first. The first important, I think, is a food. Because, food. yeah. And as uh, the second is atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And, and after that is location. Yeah. And service. Yeah. So can you put can you put two of these items? Uh, in the same level as importance, so say that both are the same. So, for example, atmosphere and location, or food and price. So, for you say that, for example, food as important as price. Mm. Or no? I think food as important as uh, service. Well, uh, of course. Of course. Well, now it's turn to talk about your special cuisine, your special dish mm. from your country. OK, let's talk. So tell me, what is your typical dish? And typical. how? Actually, yeah, tell me about ingredients. Mm. Uh... Chung cake is a traditional cake uh, um, in Tet holidays. Uh, it's, um, it's very traditional and we uh, often eat uh, this cake uh, in Tet. I mean, is a uh, that is a uh, um, uh, co uh, name called for a special holiday in Vietnam. Oh. Uh, it's about Lunar New Year. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and we often cook. Uh, 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 we call it the uh, Chung Cake. And uh, <clears throat> ingredient mm, is made by uh, uh, one of special rice, rice with rice with uh, 
the bean, bean. with the um, pepper and pork, pork, pork and um, onion. Yeah, an onion. Uh, yeah. And so you serve this food, especially in Ted, that is actually a special event in your country for New yeah. Year, you celebrate it. And tell me, do you have any special dessert? Uh, dessert? Mm, in Vietnam, we have uh, uh, mm, some, uh, some kind of drink. Like um, yeah, drink for desserts, but it's uh, cooked uh, with um, it's cooked uh, in the ingredients uh, um, um, like a um, bean and some some sometimes they uh, cook uh, they made it with uh, fruit. Like uh, um, some kind of food, uh, fruit, like yeah. an apple, um, oh. uh, uh, yeah, many, uh, many. Uh, so it's a kind of drink with fruits inside, maybe yeah. chopped fruits. Yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and some they they mix with the uh, sugar and um, wow I I think many. <laughs> They put is uh, they put uh, on is many ingredient. Yeah, so they put many ingredients in it. Okay, and yeah. tell me, how does it taste? A sweet? Mm. I don't know. Hot? Is something like bitter? Uh, it's most most of desserts is sweet sweet or sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think most most of uh, um, some some this uh, uh, sure sure sour yeah some sour. of them are sour yeah that's really interesting a sour yeah. drink. Yeah. Wow. So, so tell me, do you normally eat sour food or something like this, or spicy food? So, which one is more maybe common or maybe more popular in your country? Sour taste or sweet taste, bitter or maybe spicy? So, which one? Uh, in Vietnam, we uh, we have three reason, three three parts in Vietnam means the north, the middle, and the south. And uh, we have uh, different uh, different um, food. I mean, local local food. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, in the south of Vietnam, they often eat with very sweet. With yeah. many sugar uh, or in in this many sugar oh. it's very very sweet sweet, sweet. Oh. and uh, spicy sweet and spicy yeah and sweet sour and, and sour yeah so it makes sour yeah oh. is it but good in the middle of vietnam they eat um, more spicy because yeah. it's very hot, very hot. Mm. Yeah, got it. And in the, the north of Vietnam, mm, we eat uh, 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 
um, light. I, I don't know the, the right words, but we eat the it's with the um, normal light. So it's a normal. normal taste, not a spicy. Got it. So yeah. not spicy, but not too spicy. It's normal taste. Yeah, got it. And do you have any special appetizer, or do you normally serve appetizer before your main meal? Mm, no, we. Uh, I think we have different culture um, uh, about its food. Mm, yeah. We, um, of course, if we go, if we come to European, I mean European as Western, Western uh, restaurant, uh, we will order. Uh, um, we will order um, alcohol, alcohol, yeah. alcohol before yeah. started, but starter, but uh, uh, just for some 